Hi, God calls each and every one of us by name. So let's say our name loud and proud for all to hear. Courtney, now can you say your name? There was once a man who said and did many wonderful things. He was a teacher and a preacher. He fed people and healed people. And one day someone asked, who are you? And he said, I am the light. For the month of March, we have been um, doing a verse of the month. And that verse comes from the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 13, and can be found toward the back of the New Testament of your Bibles. And that verse says, Bear with one another, and if anyone has a complaint against another, forgive each other, just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Our story for today comes from the book of John, chapter 11. It's 45 verses long, so it's very long, so I'm not going to read it to you today. Instead, I'm just going to do our version for the word and wonder. But I wanted to show you where you can find it in the Bible in case you ever want to go read the story for yourself. It's a fantastic story, so I highly recommend you read it with your family. Hear now the word of the Lord. There was once a man named Lazarus. And Lazarus had two sisters, Martha and Mary. The three were very good friends of Jesus. Jesus was away with his disciples when he got word that Lazarus had become sick. Jesus waited for two days before beginning his journey to see Lazarus and Mary and Martha. Before Jesus got there, Lazarus had died. As Jesus approached Bethany, Martha met Jesus on the road and said to Jesus, Jesus, if you had been there, my brother would not have died. Jesus said to Martha, do not be sad, but know that Lazarus will live again. Martha believed Jesus. When they arrived to Bethany, Mary ran to Jesus and was so overcome with grief that she fell at his feet. She said, Jesus, if you had been here, my brother might still be alive. Jesus was so overcome with sadness that he began to cry. And he asked Mary to take him to the tomb. When they arrived at the tomb, Jesus said to some people, roll the stone away. But Martha told Jesus, it has been four days since Lazarus died. He has been in the tomb for four days. Jesus insisted the stone be rolled away. And as they removed the stone, Jesus weeping cried, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus very slowly came out of the tomb. And people were instructed to unbind him by Jesus. And so they began to remove the cloth. Lazarus was alive. The people were so excited that they danced and sang and celebrated and gave thanks to God. I wonder if you have ever lost anyone you love. I wonder. What it was like inside that tomb. I wonder if Mary and Martha knew that Jesus would be able to bring Lazarus back. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As we move into a time of prayer, I ask you to remember the people of the world, your family, your friends, your schoolmates, anyone you want to say their name out loud. God hears those names, but God also hears those who are on our hearts that we keep quiet into ourselves. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. The light that was in one place at one time is now in all places. At all times, this light goes with us wherever we go because we carry the light of Christ in our hearts.